Hello. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to find the mode of a continuous probability distribution. So first thing, what is the mode? In statistics, we understand it as the value or the score that has the highest frequency. So if I have my scores here, frequency here, I'm going to draw a histogram. Let's say it looks like this. In this case, my mode would be whatever x value was here because it has the highest frequency. With continuous probability distributions, very similar. We have our function here. Let's say it looks like this. this. So this is our probability density function. The mode is the value with the highest probability density. In other words, it's the x value with the highest y value on our PDF. Um, another way to look at it is that it's the global maximum of our PDF. So there are kind of three things we need to check whenever we want to find the PDF. Number one is what I've already kind of said here, and it's the most um, obvious one, I guess, are the stationary points. Because if we have a local maximum, um, there's a decent chance that the uh, global maximum will also be there because that's, that's quite often the case. But there, that's not the only thing. We have two more things we need to check. So if I were to redraw my probability density function, it could also look like this. So in this case, um, even though we have a local maximum here, it's not the highest point on our PDF. It's not our global maximum. That is actually over here. Another way I could draw this out is like this. So in this case, our probability density function doesn't even have any stationary, uh, stationary points, but we still would have a global maximum. We still would have a mode, which is just the highest point on the graph, which is over here. So the two other things we need to check are the lower boundary of our domain and the upper boundary of our domain, as we can see here. So those are the, kind of the three possibilities of where our global maximum, our mode can lie. So if I were to jump into a question, it says, consider the random variable x with PDF fx is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 7 on 6, uh, uh, defined within uh, 0 to 2. Uh, determine the mode of the distribution. So first things first, let's find the stationary points. 2x minus 2, I'll let that equal to 0. My stationary point is x equal to 1. So let's check the probability density, the y value at um, x is equal to 1. F1, that will give me 1 on 6. Now, that's the first thing we need to check, but we also need to check 2 and 3, our lower boundary and our upper boundary. So F2 gives us, those just cancel out, so 7 on 6. And F0, 7 on 6. So in this case, we can clearly see that the um, x value or uh, that where our stationary point lies actually gives us a lower probability density than these two, um, which in the, which case our modes are actually x is equal to zero and x is equal to two. Um, and since we have two modes, therefore our continuous probability distribution is bimodal. So I'm just going to write a therefore statement that our modes are x is equal to zero and x is equal to 2. So that's how you find the mode of a continuous probability distribution. Um, you need to check three things. The stationary points, um, the lower boundary, and the upper boundary.